Okay, we're going to approximate a sampling distribution coming from our population, which is the rolling of a die 10,000 times. Let's start by having Fathom create the population, which is actually just going to be a simulation of rolling a six-sided die 10,000 times. To get the population, we start by dragging down a table. We want to create a variable, which we'll call roll. So it's going to be the actual value that we get after we roll the die. Now we need to program Fathom to do that simulated rolling. So our formula is going to be random pick. So random pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What Fathom is going to do is it's randomly going to pick one of these numbers. And that's why it's a simulation of rolling a six-sided die. Okay, now we told it how to do the simulation. We need to have it now do the simulation. So we click on collection, go up to collection, new cases. Okay, a case, each case is a rolling of the die. We want 10,000, but the most Fathom can do at once is 5,000. We now have our population, which is 10,000 different rolls of the die. Okay, now we're going to approximate the sampling distribution. So we want to compute the proportion of the observations that are of 4 using 200 values of p hat, which is the proportion of 4s, coming from an SRS of size 500. Okay, using two different values, or using 200 different values. What that means is we want to find 200 different SRSs of size 500, and for each of those, we want to find the proportion of 4s in the different SRSs. We're definitely not going to do that 200 times. We're going to have Fathom do it very quickly. Let's start by forming our SRSs. We make sure collection is highlighted, go up to collection, sample cases. We want 500 of them. So we're going to go under cases and type 500. We now have our simple, our first simple random sample, which after we dra drag down a table we can see what's in it. Okay, so this SRS of size 500 is a simulation well, it's really choosing 500 different roles from our population and saying what the role value was. Okay, so you can see we have 500 of them. Okay, so now what we need to do, as I said, we're not going to find the proportion of force for each individual one. We're going to have Fathom do it. So to do that, we open the inspector for the sample and we click on measures. The measure is really the value of the statistic. So proportion of fours is what we'll name it. The formula for it, we need to count the number of fours in our rule. And then we need to divide by the total number of rules we have in our, in our, in our SRS, which is 500. Okay, so we told Fathom how to compute the proportion. Now we actually have to have it find SRSs and for each one compute the proportion of fours. So we highlight sample of collection, go up to collection, select collect measures. Okay, so what Fathom just did, let's open a Let's uh, drag down a table to see what's in that. And that will give you an idea of what Fathom just did. What Fathom just did was it found five different SRSs. And for each of those five, it found the proportion of fours. Okay, but five isn't enough. We wanted 200 different values of this statistic. And that means 200 different SRSs and for each of those 200, the proportion of fours. So we, we have five, we need 195 more. So we're going to tell Fathom to do that right here. 
we deselect the animation on so it goes faster tell it to collect more measures so what it's doing right now is it's finding SRS's and computing the proportion of fours in each of them all 195 of them and it's a little slow Notice here we have 5, and in a minute it's going to jump to 200. And so we'll have 200 different SRSs, and, each, and for each of them, the proportion of 4s in it. Okay, now we don't just want the values of the proportions, we actually want to get a distribution for it. So now we, not, we want to make a histogram. Drag down the graph, drag over the proportions, make a histogram, and now this is the approximate sampling distribution for the proportion of fours we get for all SRSs of size 500. Again, it's just an approximation, because we only used 200 different SRSs of size 500. The sampling distribution needs to be all possible samples of size 500. Okay, now let's do something with this. Let's estimate the proportion of observations in the population that are four using the approximate sampling distribution that we just created. So what that means, how you approximate the proportion of fours in the sample using the sampling distribution is by creating the mean of the sampling distribution. Okay, So we're going to create the mean of all of these values here, all of these proportions, and it's going to be an estimate of the true proportion. To compute that mean, we're going to drag down a summary. And we're going to bring over proportion. So this says that the average value of all of these sample proportions is about 0.17. Okay, so that's the average of our measures. And now we want to compare it with the true value. So this, again, this is now an estimate of the proportion of fours in the original. That's what a sampling distribution does for you. Now let's compare it with the true value of P, which is the true value of the proportion in the original population. So we create another summary, and now we're going to drag over the variable from the original population. Okay, so what we have here is we have 1,697 fours. So we can compute the proportion by adding a new formula, which is 1,697 divided by the total number of rolls of the die we had in our population. So remember, proportion is the number of fours divided by the total number. And that value is given right here, 0.1697. So the average of our, of our sampling distribution is very, very close to the true proportion of fours in the original population.